Hey everybody, happy Sunday, happy Easter Sunday. I hope you guys have had a lot of fun with your family and it's been a good weekend. I hope you had better weather. We had better weather here in Utah. And um, so I know it's hard to get away, especially on a holiday. So for those of you who aren't able to join us tonight, I just wanted to share our message so that you guys had that <clears throat> as we go into this week because I missed you last week. I'm grateful to not be sick, to have my voice back, to be able to talk to all of you guys. So, you know, I had the opportunity to speak at our church today and, um, you know, I was speaking to them about um, grace, right? God's gift of grace and, and his, his atonement and, the, and just that he gives us the opportunity to be better and perfect um, and to become perfect like him. And there was three things that I taught them today, which I, as I thought about it, they're the three things that we work on here in the boot camp. So I just wanted to share those with you, hopefully help you as we move into the end of a month, work towards starting a new month, just kind of put ourselves in a place of um, just kind of renewal, right? That's what this is all about. As we continue on, like we hit rough patches, sometimes we have spots where it's going really well. And sometimes when that happens, we really find something to bring us back down to that level of security and where we feel like. And as we do either of those things, if we do these three things, we can always continue to move forward, right? So let's talk about that. Number one is take action, right? You guys know this, this is like the key thing for me, like that I really just want people to understand is that we have to take action to move ourselves forward, right? There's no one else that can help us to hit our goal, to get to our goal, to get to that destination that we want to. Now there's lots of people there to support us. There's lots of people who can help us, mentor us, um, help us to have the right idea, to make sure, we're, you know, give us confidence that we're on the right path. But at the end of the day, the small actions that we have to take for our health, for our relationships, for our work, for our families, in any part of our life requires that we take action and be there and be present and show up. So you've got to take action. You've got to decide on those commitments to those small things and to do them daily and consistently. So I want you, as we're going through this, I want you to think of two things, two things right now that you know if you did more consistently or if you really focused on those things that you would make progress in your goals for your health, for your weight loss, to feel better, have better energy. What are those two things? Write them down write them down, right? And share those if you're watching the rebroadcast on this, put them in the comments, right? Let's talk about those, commit to those right now to taking action. <clears throat> Number two, keep trying, right? The perfectionism and, and feeling that crippling effects of, of needing to get there and never being able to obtain or be good enough holds us back, right? So I want you to embrace the fact that it's not going to be perfect and that you don't need to be perfect for this to be your very best self, right? We just have to keep trying. And ultimately, if things go perfect, we don't learn much from that. The growth happens as we make a mistake or as, as something happens, an obstacle shows up and we are able to overcome, that we show up that day after perfect. A good book to read if you guys struggle with this, with struggle with getting out of that mindset, with a, with a, if you give up frequently when you, you know, feel that you're not perfect or not doing enough, it's called Finish by John Acuff. It's a great book and it will lead you through some principles that will help you to do that. Make sure you guys do that. Take time for your personal growth. Read those books that focus and help you to hone in on some of the struggles and limiting beliefs that you have that will help you right? So we've got take action. We've got keep trying. My third point is you are enough. You are enough. I want you to really live in that space that even if you're not at your ideal body weight, even if you're not ideally where you want to be, focus on you, who you are in competing against you, right? Instead of Feeling not enough because you look at social media, you look at all of these 
airbrushed bodies or perfect people or moms who seem to have it all together or these posts that articulate that life's not hard, right? Life is hard for all of us. We all have something underneath, even if we don't see it on the outside. So stop comparing yourself to people's best selves that they put out there because they've got stuff underneath there too, right? And run this race for you, against you, to beat you, right? So focus on how that feels to be better than you were yesterday, right? To focus on that, that goal or to be in the person that you are becoming to be able to help that person, right? So how do you do this? I want you to, I want you to write down one goal that you want to accomplish in the next 60 days, right? Something you want to accomplish in the next 60 days. So write down what you want to accomplish or, and write it as if you've already done it, right? I will be, boom, right? I will be running my first 5K or I have run, uh, you know, or I have lost 10 pounds or I fit into the skirt that's been hanging at the back of my closet for five years, right? What is that? Okay, so now that you've got your goal, I want you to write down where you are now. What's that starting point for you? How do you feel you're doing? What are you doing well? already, right? That you can continue to move forward. What do you want to focus on improving, right? And it's important to have both of those things. And now we're going to put in measurements to measure that progress all along the way, right? So now you've got your goal, you've got your starting place. I want you to come up with some mini goals to help you to get there, right? Because as you do that, you'll see yourself progressing, you against you, from where you started to where you are today, to where you want to be tomorrow, to where you want to be the next day, right? And you can show up with, with yourself in that and feel good, right? This isn't about you versus everybody else. It's about you versus you. And I want you to know that you are enough right now. And that desire to be better, that desire to improve is a good thing. And it'll help carry you forward, okay? So those are three points we want to focus on this week. Take action and keep trying. And you are enough. I want you to hear that from me. You are enough. Now go attack your goals, right? We aren't going to we aren't going to make progress like by waiting longer, right? It has to be you are moving the chains. You got to do that. Do the work. You might think it's hard. It is hard. But you will feel good as you do that. Work feels good to all of us. All right, you guys, I love you dearly. Have a good week. Make sure you um, complete your weekly check-ins and can't wait to connect with you this week. Talk to you soon.